So I'm watching all these women do all these things and I'm realizing that, my gosh, for all these years, I had the total wrong definition of leadership. That leadership is personal, not positional. It's what you are. That's the beauty of getting out of your comfort zone because when you get out of there and you realize, which you will, shoot, what was I scared about to begin with? I can do this. And not only can I do this, I'm doing this quite well, right? And again, I wish I could say, here's the secret formula to doing that every time, but I have found these things help, right? One, and this is something that we had built in with our national team, is gather your team around you, right? And if it's a, a soccer team, if it's family and friends, but what is your dream team? Because you need them in those moments. When we started on the national team, we had no Women's World Cup back in the 80s. We had no women's soccer in the Olympics, and we were a bunch of feisty teenagers who kept asking why. Why not? Why don't we have both of these things? And people all the time would say to us, stop dreaming that nonsense up. Stop asking for things when women's soccer is not even popular. They don't even play it in this country. This isn't our national sport. And we were like, what? Why shouldn't we be dreaming these things up? The men have had a women's world, had had a World Cup for a century, why can't women also have a Women's World Cup? And they kept saying to us, which is the number two on here, you're crazy. You're crazy to dream these big dreams. And we'd say, no, nah, we don't think we're crazy. We think we're actually courageous. But it takes a team of people around you when you do think, well, maybe I am crazy, to say, no, you're not crazy. They're the crazy ones. You're the courageous one. So who is your dream team around you? I'm here to tell you that it's not enough to find your community. You must now build your community and equally important, build bridges to other communities. Because I hope what we've learned out of these past few months is that we need each other. The world is a better place when we're helping each other, being kind to each other, taking care of each other, literally. We are codependent on each other in a way we've never experienced before. We've always known that in an almost ethereal sense. Yeah, sure, my actions, I get it. Yeah, they, they impact others, and we've always just thought of it that way. But now we are living it. And, I, and I'm going to warn you, building bridges is not easy. But as history has shown us, it's a heck of a lot more effective than building barriers.